Romans put up milestones for marking progress, and we've been marking our roads that way ever since. Where are you headed? How many miles to go? In the NFL, the answer is found on the sidelines. There you'll see the poles and chains, the foam yardage markers, milestones on a rough road, where muscle and bone are sacrificed for real estate. Yards, feet, sometimes inches at a time. How much farther? I'll tell you how far. Right past that next chalk line, the next yard marker. The foam pylon of the corner of the end zone. How far isn't the issue. The issue is how to get there. How to get past that next milestone. The poet T.S. Eliot had it all wrong. Life isn't measured out with coffee spoons. It's measured out on the dial a down. One, two, three, oblivion. If you're smart, you live on the ones and twos. The threes are trouble. A road all uphill. You know where you are, but you don't know what's coming. The milestones themselves say nothing. All chalk lines look alike. They measure progress, but never applaud. The chains come out and have their say, yes or no, never maybe. The milestone has been reached or passed or not. The chains don't lie, but they do torture just this much more. Just this much more, just this far from a moment of glory that could make these bones stop hurting, at least for a little bit. Mile markers made of stone, yard markers made of foam, it's all the same. Progress is hard when progress is made against determined foes. Spoilers who do not have your best interests at heart. Distance is made with muddy boots on the ground. Travel the hard way. The life of a football game is measured in milestones. Those who pass the greatest number usually end the game smiling. Beaten up maybe, but not beaten. That's because the milestones never lie. They tease, they tempt, they mock with their smug and sedentary silence, but they always tell the truth. And the truth is that winners pass their way more often.